Hi everyone, my name is Valerie Wallace from polymerclay.co.uk and today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, Celtic Knotwork King using our Celtic Caning Kit. The kit itself is made up of this tutorial booklet with eight rubber stamps and the stamps store nicely inside the cover of your booklet. And you'll also receive an acrylic block for the stamp and a one and a half inch cutter for making your stacks of clay. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a simple knot and in the booklet you also receive tutorials for a continuous border knot and a more complex knot. These tutorials are designed to show you how the eight elements on the stamps work together. And once you understand how those elements work together, you can make pretty much any knotwork game that you want. So along with the kit, you're going to need some clay. And today I'm going to use Kato Poly Clay. The reason I use Kato Poly Clay is Kato Clay is quite firm and you need a firm clay for Celtic Knotwork because um, Celtic Knotwork is quite precise. So you want a clay that's going to reduce well and without a lot of distortion. And Kato Clay is the best clay that I've found for doing these Knotwork games. For the simple knot, you need two colors, and you want colors that are very high contrast. So I'm going to use black and white. And you'll need approximately six ounces of clay. So um, three two ounce bars of each of your colors. You'll also need a tissue blade and a roller of some sort and a pasta machine which you can't see in my picture. For my work surface I like to use um, just a, a glass placemat and I also have some glass coasters and I like using the coasters because um, I can put a stack of my clay on the coaster and turn the coaster quite easily as I'm making my cuts and you'll see that in a little while. I'm just going to show you some examples of canes that were made with this kit. So this is just a simple black and white cane like the ones we're going to make today. and a red and black knot, turquoise and black, and then this one is made with a silver to pearl Skinner blend. And I've tried to make that look a bit like a 3D metallic knot. Now the great thing about the knot work that you can make with this kit is each time you make a cane, you're actually going to end up with a positive and a negative. So if you're using white and black clay, you'll make a white knot with a black background and also a black knot with a white background. So on this sheet, I've got some different examples of some knots that I've made with the kit. So we've got gold with a black background, and red with the black background. This is a white knot that I've kaleidoscoped 
This is the silver and pearl cane that you just saw. And in this one, I've repeated that four times. And I love how, even though that's actually four individual knots, it kind of looks like it's all working together to form one big knot. And then this one, I've made a border of the knot around four of the repeating knots. And here again, we've got the turquoise knot, and then it's opposite of the black knot with the turquoise background. And here I've got some of the continuous border. And this one, oh, it's kind of hard to tell. There we go. Has um, a Skinner blend of turquoise to purple. And then this is the opposite of the black knot, and the border goes from turquoise to purple in the middle and back to turquoise. And then this one is a tur just plain turquoise knot with the black border, and then it's opposite of the black knot with the turquoise border, and again with the yellow. Now with the yellow and the turquoise, the black clay was a bit softer than the yellow clay and softer than the turquoise clay. So I lost some of the definition in my border. And that's why these kind of don't actually look like knot work. Whereas the, the black with the yellow border looks more like a continuous knot work border and the turquoise as well. Now this one is the complex knot. And this one, um, the negative that I made from it, I decided instead of doing the whole complex knot, I decided to take out the middle element and just make it a shorter knot, because I thought that would actually make some cool earrings. I've also done a checkerboard with the black and white knot, and this one is just a regular square simple knot, which I turned into a diamond, and then repeated that in a star shape, and then just put some black clay around for a border. And then this one is also this, just the square simple knot, repeated four times, and then just squished into a circle. So squished into a round cane, and it looks great. So the first step of making the knotwork king is making your stacks of clay. And for the simple knot, you need four stacks of each color of clay. So I'm going to start out by making my stacks of clay. And I have some clay here that I've conditioned in advance. So I'm just going to make a black stack of clay. So I'm going to take my square cutter, and this clay is rolled out on the thickest setting on my pasta machine, so number one, because I use an Imperia. So um, the thickest setting is the number one. And I'm just going to make um, my stack ten squares high. So I'll start out by cutting my squares. Now, these cutters are actually quite sharp. So what I do, instead of using my fingers to push down on the cutter, I use my acrylic block, and I just press that down. So there 
there's four squares, and then I'll get another six out of this one. 